Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Our last dua that the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam used to say in this Fortress of Muslim booklet, of course, is Subhana dhil jabaruti wal malakut wal kibiriyai wal azama. Glory be to the possessor of total power, sovereignty, magnificence, and grandeur. Now, these attributes are taken from names of Allah Azza wa Jal. Dhil Jabarut is taken from Al Jabbar. And we don't have the time to expand on explaining the beautiful names of Allah. You can go to the beautiful names of Allah, which we had made an earlier playlist of, and you will find the meaning of these beautiful names. The Malakut, uh, uh, the possessor of sovereignty, Al Malik, Wal Kibriya, magnificence, Al Mutakabbir, Wal Azama, grandeur, Al Azim. So, Knowing Allah's beautiful names adds great value to your life, to your prayer, to your worship, to every aspect of life. And when you don't know these beautiful names, you have complete darkness. You can't see. So we have to learn in order to know who we are worshipping. We finished Rukur. What do we do? We rise up from Rukur. And what do we say when we rise up from Rukur? As we are standing up, we say, Sami Allahu liman hamidah. Sami Allahu liman hamidah. May Allah answer one who praises him. Now, Sami'a means to hear. And a Sami'a has different meanings. One of the meanings is to hear. So when someone says, um, do you hear this bang? It's hearing of realization that something has banged. And it also refers to understanding. So when you hear something and you understand it, it's not like those who do not understand it. It's a different way of summer. And the third meaning which we have here is to answer. So Allah Azza wa Jal hears everything. So why do we say Allah Azza wa Jal hears the one who praises him? No, Allah he hears the one who praises him and even the one who does not praise him. But this kind of hearing means in Arabic to answer those who praise him. And there is the hearing of the hypocrites who hear, but they do not implement. And this would be affecting them on the Day of Judgment when they're thrown in hellfire for hearing and not obeying. So as you rise up, you say, Sami Allah liman hamidah. Not as many Imams who don't know the Sunnah, they rise up completely and while standing up erect, they say, Sami Allah liman hamidah so that their voice would go into the microphone. This is wrong. The sunnah is to say it as you're rising up. Now, when you rise up, who does or who says Sami Allahu liman hamidah? Only the imam and the person praying alone who's left over, the ma'moom, the follower. The follower does not say Sami Allahu liman hamida. Then what does the ma'moom say? The ma'moom says once he rises up, Rabbana wa lak alhamd, hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fihi. Rabbana wa lak alhamd, and this is the minimum. Rabbana wa lak alhamd. This is said by the imam and the person praying alone and the ma'moom, the follower. Rabbana wa lakal hamd. The Prophet used to say, alayhi salatu wasalam, 
in addition to that, O Lord, for you is all praise and abundant, beautiful, blessed praise. So this is something you can say. That's all? No, 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 no. This is just the beginning. As you say, Sami Allah wa Muhammad Rabbana wa lakal hamd hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fi, the Prophet used to add to that, alayhi salatu was salam. Mil as samawati wa mil al ard, wa ma baynahuma, wa mil ama shi'ta min shay'in ba'd, ahl al thanai wal majd, ahakku ma qala al abd, wa kulluna laka abd. Allahumma la mani alima a'tayt, wa la mu'ti lima mana'at. The heavens and the earth, mil as samawati wal ard, and all between them abound with your praise. So, all of this is abound of your praise. And all that you will abound with your praise, this is the heavens and the earth and what's between them. Oh, Possessor of praise and majesty. The truest thing a slave has said of you, and we are all your slaves. O oh Allah, none can prevent what you have willed. No one can prevent what you have given. And no one can give what you have prevented. And no wealth or majesty can benefit anyone as from you is all wealth and majesty. This is too much, man. When you look at imams in the masjids, when you look at individuals praying, what is this? It's especially in, in countries that they don't follow sunnah, as we call them the Ferrari imam. You don't even have time to say, because the guy is already on the ground prostrating. While the Prophet, as you have heard, says these beautiful words of praising Allah Azza wa Jal after rising from the Rukur position. This is something that we have to incorporate in our Salat. This is not just for the sake of knowledge and, oh yeah, I know what to say. You have to start to practice it today, immediately, and say it. And by the way, you've noticed that there are a number of dhikr, whether in rukur or after you rise from the rukur. You alternate. Likewise, in the dua of inauguration. Subhanakallah, muhammadik tabarakas, muhtarajaduk, wala laha ghayruk, wajahtu wajhi, Allahumma ba'ad bayni. All of these, you don't say them together. You say one at a time and you try to vary from one prayer to the other so you would have full concentration instead of just parroting it and saying it without paying any attention to it. This is all the time we have until we meet next time. I leave you for Amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.